I'm now joined by Genevieve Antinez here to talk to us about a blanket and sock drive. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Oh, it's great to see you all. And Tinez, talk to us about your role with Harbor Hospice and, and this drive. So we, um, we partnered with Harbor Hospice like, like three years ago. We did our first blanket drive. Oh. And um, my wife, she was working for them at the time. And she's the one that actually put me, like gave me the idea like, hey, you should do this for this. You know, I'm working with all these, uh, these hospice patients and they could really use it. So I was like, all right, and she put me in contact with Genevieve. And Genevieve's the person to get in touch with. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Genevieve, Genevieve, remind us, how long have you been with Harbor Hospice? Um, we, our family moved here almost three years ago, so two and a half years now. Two and a half years. Yes, and this blanket drive, what does it mean to your residents? Oh my gosh, so um, so this is our, like uh, Tina said, this is our second year, uh, second annual blanket and sock drive. Um, we're gonna be hosting it at Target, Target store. Um, is you know, very generous to help us host this event. And our, our patients, um, they, you know, their ages are ranging from 27 years old to 107 years old. So they can really benefit from a nice warm blanket, a pair of socks. And so last event we had, we were able to provide blankets and, and you know, everything for all of our patients. And so it was really neat um, and they were very grateful for it. And it's such a small item, a blanket or a sock, but it makes a huge difference in feeling loved, feeling supported, not forgotten while you're going through these final chapters. That's true. And as he said earlier, his wife, um, she was an amazing registered nurse with us and a, and a case manager. And so she got to see firsthand that our patients, a lot of them don't have families. They don't have a support system. Um, you know, they might be in a nursing home. They might be in their own private home, but they just don't have anybody um, either to visit them or uh, provide those necessities. And so we become their family. We become their companions and people that see them on a weekly basis. So um, she saw the need and we were able to partner and, and make a make a big uh, impact for them. Yes, Definitely. And how can the community help out if, if they if they want to make a contribution? Um, really just because um, we'll be at Target from 9 to 4, um, just come out, drop off a blanket. You can either bring one from home, um, from somewhere else. The Target's going to have blankets there already. Um, my chapter itself, I think we've already purchased 900 or not 900, 97 blankets already. Wow. Um, and that's already going to be there ready to be on our trailer to donate. Like we would like to essentially fill up our trailer. We got a big trailer that uh, we do our toy drives and stuff with as well. And if we can get that whole thing filled up, it'd be great. Wow, and you're with the Calaveras. Yes, man, the Calaveras here in Victoria. I love that jacket. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, and you'll have to know that they are the draw for the events that we do. Um, our, the, the customers come in, the Target customers come in or anyone comes in and they'll ask us, well, can we go talk to the bikers outside? Like they don't want to talk to us. <laughs> so we, we're kind of using them to, you know, get, get the, um, get the fun, you know, started. Yeah. And so everybody loves to go and see the bikes and, and talk with them and thank them for helping us with this. Definitely. It's a wonderful community collaboration. Thank you all again for, for making the time to come on the show. Thank yes, you for having Thank us. you. All right, well, coming up, don't go anywhere. I'm used to know before you go.